This is Jan Trader, and this is Midday Trading. The bull is unleashed. Wow, look at there. The Dow's up 530, NASDAQ's up uh, uh, 500, S&P's up over 100. She is ripping. Hope you guys are all in. Really good trading here today. Okay, so as usual, we're going to look at uh, crude oil and natural gas. But first of all, we're going to look here at PayPal uh, pretty much in depth. Okay, this video is for information purpose only, not a recommendation to buy, sell a stock, mod ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have PayPal, a daily chart, one year. Okay, now you can see here where we really ran on up here and then we made a, a high up there of 74.40. Okay, so you couldn't get through that. It came right on down. And then yesterday here, we came close. You had 73.87 and the breakout is that 74.40. And today you can see pow, right through it. Now, the key is you need to close above this 74.40, that's the key. But what I don't like about it is now you left a gap, okay? So when you look at the bottom of this candle here, you're looking at uh, uh, 74.81, and then we look at the top of this candle, you're looking at 73.87. So there's your gap and there's your fill. So if any kind of a sell-off, first of all, you're gonna be looking for is a retest at that 74.40, and then you're gonna be looking for that gap fill at 83.87. But this is looking very, very good, very, very bullish chart. So when you look at this 8 SMA here, now you can see we're wrapped around and now you're going to cross over on that 21 day and you're gonna push that price up much higher. Now RSI here, well you're getting kind of like in the um, uh, nosebleeds uh, area here. However, it can ride that here for quite a while. So there's no issue right there. Uh, MACD, your green curled up over your red, looking very, very bullish here, okay? So the key is what you wanna do is you wanna watch obviously today's high, that's 77.48. But if this does sell off, you wanna make sure that holds that 77.40 level. And then if that's lost, you come over here to that gap fill at 73.87. Now, let's take a look at PayPal on a weekly chart. Okay, here's PayPal on a weekly chart. Now you can see here how this sold right off here had that 310. Now when you look at the top of this candle here, what you have 309.14 and then you rallied up to 310.16, uh, but what you have is a double top situation. So when you see this double top situation, get the hell out. Or, you know, if you're like me, I short it and you can take it all the way on down here. And then once it gets below that 8 SMA here, the, the, the blue line, then she's gonna go all the way on down until you can get back above. Now we've had a lot of good sideways action, but always remember what I say about sideways action, what that does is it builds energy, okay? So when you build that energy up, eventually when she breaks, she's gonna break right on out here. So what you wanna do is you always wanna watch that 7440. That's gonna be very, very key uh, a level here. Now, today's high, again, is uh, uh, 7748 uh, level. So what we wanna do is go to your next level here, just bring this price channel right across here, okay? So what you have there is you're looking at your next level is gonna be 7654, that's the next, that's your next uh, uh, level here. Then what we do is just bring your uh, price channel all the way across. Then we come up here. You got um, uh, 8071. Uh, we have uh, uh, 8380. And then we can come all the way up here to your 8863. And then we just keep taking those price channels right on across up here. You got 9262 until you work yourself all the way up here until you get to your 9930 level. But again, when you look at this weekly chart here, this is just like in a process here. Now you can see how it flatlined, but I say when you get a chart that looks like this, all this does is sideways and it just makes energy, makes energy, and then when she breaks out, she explodes. So your big target is gonna be all the way up here at that 127.15 uh, level, that's your 200 simple moving average, okay? So just always remember where this came from, came all the way here from that 310. Now I'm not saying it's gonna go there, but I'm just saying what it can do, it can rally up here, you just follow these price channels going all the way across, and then we can take it all the way back up. So we gotta see how this is all gonna shake out. Uh, but right now, this is looking very, very bullish, but always watch this retest here, that 74.40, if it pulls back, you need to hold that, and then she can go higher. Now we're gonna take a look here at on one other chart here on PayPal. Okay, now there's another chart here, see, and this is drawing the trend line. Okay, so you can see where the trend line here on the top there, and then this is where that action was that we're right here, this is where we're trying to get through, that's at 7440 level, okay? So you can see where it went up there and it made a little bit higher high and then came all the way down. Now you can see where this went up and you gapped. Now, if it does come back and test, you can you always wanna re check that trend line, this purple line here, okay? See all the way through, and if it comes back and holds that level, then that's another buying opportunity here to take it longer, again. 
As long as you're holding this 7440, if you're a long-term holder, this is a buying opportunity. Buy this and just you can just hold this because she's gonna go much higher, okay? If it comes down, watch that 7440 and then watch that gap fill, okay? That's 7387, that's gonna be very, very key. But as long as you see when you break out of a trend line like that, then she's just gonna rip much, much higher. So if you're a long-termer, you can buy and hold this as long as you're holding that 7440. And if it comes down to that area, say, hey, I just want to keep holding this, you can hold it and you can maybe add to your position and then you can take it up higher. Okay, let's take a look here now at crude oil. Okay, here we have crude oil, daily chart. Now, we check that bad boy out right there. What do we got? 71.28, that's what we're looking for right here. Now, you can see where it came all the way down and it held that eight simple moving average. This is why you want to trade the charts. It came, as long as it holds this, I said, this morning's video, you're trading between that eight day and... That 21 day, that's the key. Now, there was some really good scalps. Uh, matter of fact, I am still long on the UCO on my second scalp, and he had a good trading range here so far on the UCO. I am up, uh, let me see what I'm up here. I am up uh, 75 cents, but I'm trading 5,000 shares, so that's not so bad so far today. Okay, now again, if we can crack above this 21 day, then we're gonna be looking, we're gonna look at the top of this candle here, looking at that 71.92 level, okay? That's gonna be next. And then we'll come right here to the bottom, you're looking at 72.20, and then we'll come here, okay? You're looking at uh, 72.58, and then we just follow the candles, okay? You got 73.52, here we have uh, 74.16, we have 74.38, uh, uh, and then this is the level that you're gonna be looking for at that 74.95. But again, you gotta crack that 21 day here, then you have a good shot at taking up that at 50 day. But now, when you look at this chart, Okay, you can see this double top action, just like I pointed out there on that PayPal. See that double top action? And then we have that series of lower highs. Okay, when you see that, this is still a very, very bearish chart. Even if it gets to that 50 day, if you draw that trend line down, you'll see that where you got that series of lower highs and lower lows, you're still below that trend line, even if you get up to the 50 day here. But the key today is going to be watching that 21 day. If you can close above, then we got a good shot at it. Okay, downside, what you want to do is watch yesterday's high. You're looking at 7031, and then we have that eight day at 6928. That is going to be your support levels. If that's lost, we'll come down to yesterday's low, that's 6858, and then we'll come over here to the top of this candle, 6797. We come here, you're looking at 6724, and then we have uh, 6563, and then your big retest down here at 6527. So you want to trade this range, that eight day. And the 21 day, that's what we're going sideways here. Look how many days here, okay? We're just going sideways here until we break out. You break out above the 21 day, that right there, that 74, 95, that 58, that's your target. You close below this eight day right here, 65, 27, that is your target. Now, this is looking very, very good here. Uh, you're sitting at 48, you got plenty of room to run up. You got that nice bullish cross here. The green is over your red. That shows that positive momentum to the upside. So now we gotta see if we can just close above that Key 21, a uh, simple moving average. Okay, let's take a look here at Natty Gas. Okay, here we have natural gas. Now you can see here, now they came in uh, and the report there today was not really good. Um, on that EIA report, let me see if I can dig it up here. Uh, yeah, okay, we're looking right here, okay. Um, uh, natural gas here came in at 58 BCF. Uh, they were expecting 55 BCF. Uh, last week, they had 40 BCF, so actually it's going the wrong direction. However, a lot of times I always tell you, it's not the news that matters. It's the reaction to it that does. Now, you can see here, what we did is we, this morning, we lost that eight day, okay, at that uh, 2.31. And we came all the way down. I said, just watch that 200 day. That's next, 2.23, and look where we are, okay? So we're holding the 21 day, the 50 day, and now we're back above that eight day. What a great scalping. UNG there got as low as 14.08. I uh, got as high as uh, 14.56. I already got uh, uh, 30 cents out of it, and now I'm on my second scalp of UNG. I trade 5,000 shares of it, and I'm also holding 5,000 shares from down here. But that's just my trading shares. That's what I like to do for that cash flow every day. So this is looking really good. Now look at 2.31. That's going to be the key. And then on the upside, what you want to do is watch right there 2.35, and then we watch yesterday's high. Okay, at that uh, 2.377. And then right there's your big retest at 2.43. That's going to be the key. Now, again, we get above, just look right to the left there. What do you have? 2.448. We have uh, 2.48. And then we just venture right across here. 2.52, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.60, 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, 2.65, 2.66, 2.67, 2.68, 2.69, 2.70, 2.71, 2.72, 
2.60. That's the bottom of those candles. Everything you know is sitting right up here. Okay, very very easy. But right now, if we're right back above that uh, eight day, we have look like a bottoming tail. We got to see how it's all going to shake out here for the day. Natural gas's seasonality is in play for natty gas, and I think eventually you're not going to sit down in the twos here. This is going to rally up. It's usually a good rally here, all the way from September till the uh, first second week there of December. Okay, so for today's action, just watch that eight day, very very key, and then watch that that 200 day, very very key on the downside. The upside, here's what you want to watch: just that 2.35. You want to watch yesterday's high, 2.37, and there's your big retest at 2.43. So just trade this range. See how we're trading this range here? Okay, this is we're doing the same thing like we did on crude. Just trade that range until she's gonna either going to break up or she's going to break down. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here after pick close, and uh, we will take a look and see what crude oil and natural gas is doing. And remember, trade what's in front of you, not what you want. And also remember one very key here is when you have a Fed – Cutting cycle, uh, stock market will rally, okay? And look at everything that's going to rally. It's going to be the banks. It's going to be your, your technology. It's going to be cars. It's going to be Home Depot, Lowe's. Anything to do on that, it's going to be home builders. Anything like that is going to rally hard when you get a Fed rate cutting cycle. So just remember that. Um, I still don't understand why they cut 50 points if everything's so great. Why you want to cut a half a point? I don't get that. They're going to cut another half a point and then maybe another point next year. So expect uh, going higher and look for everything that where you borrow money. That is the key. Uh, when you get the lower rates, people will pour back into there and she'll rally right back on up again. Okay. All right. I'll see you uh, right after the pit close. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you.